What's up guys so this video is essentially going to deal with a with one main topic today um, as you can tell I've been doing videos where I get out my weekly broadcast for the most part almost every week um, there are sometimes are gaps in between it either because I didn't have time to edit or I didn't have you know, or something came up, technical issue, whatever you want to go with. Um, but I've also been putting out, obviously, my commentaries. I've been doing videos on, uh, I, I put, you know, both little, you know, little cell phone videos out and stuff like that. And um, uh, just here and there, little things. And then, of course, I do these videos. And there should be another one of these coming up. And like last week, there should be another one of these coming up right after um, my weekly broadcast. Um, so my weekly broadcast, by the time that this gets uploaded, will have already been, been there. It should have been up on Wednesday. This video will most likely be up either late Wednesday or Thursday. And then the video that I have coming up after this one which I want you to look for is on Islamophobia regarding uh, Tah uh, uh, Tahara Ahmad um, who you'll understand get to know a little bit better and uh, if you haven't already seen her Al Jazeera uh, interview that's something you should watch too um, and I'll try to look for the link and put it in here but um, essentially this uh, but that'll be out on on Thursday or Friday um, so but what I wanted to talk about in this video was uh, about uh, Caitlyn Jenner and the uh, cover spread that she did for Vanity Fair now Caitlyn Jenner formerly Bruce Jenner is now a woman she is a transgendered woman and the problem with talking about things like this is that between the transphobia and the people in the trans community who there's a lot of criticism that comes from both sides especially from someone who is not trans who's not of the LGBT plus community who's not you know and a person who is an ally frankly because you do sometimes will start talking about things that can receive criticism from both sides the trans community being um, you know th trying to say different things and then the transphobics who are basically saying you know you know saying all kinds of you know crap sort of bullshit things and uh, you know y it's kind of one of those things where you kind of got to give and take where you can so to the best of my ability that's where I'm going to start with I'm going to try to go into this and talk more about the transphobia that goes into and why people need to be a little bit more sensitive to the issue now uh, Jenner ended up doing a spread for Vanity Fair and I've seen the photos And frankly, I don't really see a problem with them. I think that they were very tastefully done, and I think that she absolutely looks beautiful, frankly. And I don't see why there should be a freaking problem with it. But this is, but then again, trans rights have been, and the idea of tra uh, transgender individuals is still in its infancy. As I've stated in pre a previous video, it's like 20 to 30 years behind the LGB movement. And what's and that's really kind of sad given the fact that there should be more of a there should be more awareness brought to this community and there really isn't. Um and because of that transphobia exists quite heavily. And recently on the Kruken Kipe page on Facebook, a 
page that I follow on a personal account as well as my political account, although I don't really go to those pages on my political account because this is for this is for NorCal Corner. Um, but essentially, um, the Crook and Kite page, which is a San Francisco Giants fan page uh, that is named after uh, the nicknames for Dwayne Kuyper and Mike Kruko, the commentators for the Giants, fans of this page have posted the cover spread of uh, Caitlyn Jenner and then proceeded to pretty much make the most transphobic and just absolutely transphobic, homophobic, and just absolutely outright just disgusting remarks that I think I've seen in quite a while. I myself, on my personal page, was uh, post was sending a lot of posts back. I ended up getting rightful. I ended up getting. Uh, I ended up getting attacked, and um, essentially, I just eventually bowed out gracefully and basically told told these people, you know, in a very polite way that you know they needed to fuck off and learn. Well, frankly, I just told them that they needed to be more accepting and be more sensitive and respectful. But that's not the response I got, and people were trying were then trying to say. Well, it sounds like you're the one that's trying to make an issue with it. And I wasn't trying to make an issue with it. I was trying to defend the tasteful display that I thought was involved. And yet people were saying, making remarks saying, Oh, it was unnatural. Oh, this is disgusting. Oh, blah, 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 blah. And it's kind of irritates me when people... That when people are this fucking bigoted that they, they, they there's an old expression about how you fear things you don't understand or, and you and because of that people end up making these remarks and stuff like that and that is absolutely true people often fear and make fun of and make snide remarks about things they don't understand and frankly that's exactly what it is However, at the same time, it's one of those things that I find really interesting that a group of people who are supposedly fans of a baseball team that is based in the city of San Francisco, in the North Bay, or not North Bay, but in the Bay Area, in Northern California, California in general, and yet can be so blatantly transphobic. How in the hell... Can you even call yourself a fan? How, how can you even live with yourself knowing that you're out there not only attacking tra uh, the trans community and tr a trans individual, but you're attacking people who are defending them? And yet these are also probably the same. There's probably also, because I didn't really get into it, I'm assuming there's also a few people out there that were part of this that also claim to be LGBT rights activists. In other words, you're an LGB activist, but you hate trans people. Now, this, this is all based upon assumption and stuff like that, but it does bring up an interesting point, because oftentimes people who claim to be LGBT plus uh, individuals and stuff like that often don't know much about uh, pansexuality, asexuality, or um, transsexuality. They don't seem to understand it. They don't seem to really get it. And so basically, I have to say, no, you're... An, some, well, it's not something I say, but sometimes it, it gets into my head where it's like, no, you're an LGB activist. You support the LGB groups and their rights and stuff like that, but you seem to spit upon the rest of it, and that's not what that's about. In order to be a LGBT plus activist, you have to understand and you have to be well fully, fully in compliance to defend their rights, and that includes leaving all that phobia and all that, you know, 
stereotypical bull crap and all that, that prejudice and discrimination at the door. And transgender identity is not necessarily means that you're gay, lesbian, straight, or bi, whatever the case may be. A lot of times, people, there are transgender individuals who, say, are transitioning from male to female who do like females or who may like not have who may like both or might not just might not even see a preference at all there they but they the identity of being transgender means that you are uncomfortable in the body that you were born in that you believe that you are that you were born one way but technically you were you were supposed to be another way so these so these individuals go their entire lives um, having to struggle with uh, they struggle with their identity and think and somewhere along the line they may decide you know I don't feel you know it's like I may be male but I don't feel physically male I feel like I should have been I should be female and so and and it's vice versa with the female to male aspect there are people that um that just that decide to um that that decide one day that it's that after years of struggling with their identity they're like you know i really do feel like i'm male rather than female and you know it doesn't always have to deal with sexuality it you know there are people that are that go from male to female who are or female to male who you know that are te that are technically straight but they are you know or whatever you want to call the sexuality the way i look at it there's really you know you have your sexualities and you have and then there's people that don't really have a preference don't really see a preference but it's kind of hard to explain, really, but the point being, and I'm trying not to offend anybody here, by the way, I'm trying to explain this in the best way possible. The idea of of all this is the fact that it is no, it is as natural as being straight it is as natural as being lgb it is as natural as being pansexual it is as natural as being asexual it doesn't matter you are who you are you are who you know you you you're born a certain way and just but at the same time you may be born as a boy but you technically have aspects that that you're you, you technically have the mindset or the aspects of a female and you might and at some point decide you want to be female or vice versa female to male and then there's you we could go into the whole thing about gender um, gender non-binary gender fluid things like that and those are things that I would personally like someone that I would like to bring someone on that's um, knowledgeable more knowledgeable about that or at least you know do a piece that they've written uh, because that they could explain this better than I could, but essentially, it, it the whole idea is is that Caitlyn Jenner has dis, it is female now. She is female. She's tr a tra uh, transgendered, and there should be this level of acceptance. There should be more of this level of awareness and stuff like that to prevent these people from trying to say oh this is disgusting and it's like oh this is unnatural and there's nothing unnatural about it it's simply the fact that they wanted that the person wanted to tra that that did not feel comfortable with who they were and was trying to do something that made their life better that made them feel more comfortable with who they are and that's why I wanted to go into that and so I, you know, I was defending, um, defending Caitlyn Jenner. I was defending the trans community. 
and people are trying, you know, and of course then he brings out all these people, especially then the Christians, the right-wing Christians, who want to say, say, you know, that this is an abomination, and it's like, I don't agree with these, with this, and blah, blah, blah. And so, you know, it brings up that typical, you know, that, that typical biblical bullshit, and eventually just pushing that to the side and say, if you can, you know, if you can give me an ar argument that's not biblical, then I will gladly debate you. If you will give me an argument that is intelligent enough that basically find, that tells me why being homosexual or being transgendered or anything like that, why it's unnatural, why it's disgusting, quote-unquote, why it's these different things. If you can give me, a, you know, three logical, intelligent points, then I will be free to debate you. Granted, I will also try to debunk you, but I will gladly debate you. The problem is, is that so many people are so ignorant and so, you know, just so blatantly stupid that they don't seem to understand, that they don't have anything intelligent to come back with, including people who, well, happen to be right-wing Christians. So it's one of those things that this issue needed to be brought to light. And frankly, I think that what Caitlyn Jenner did was brave. I think that the cover photos done were extremely tasteful. And I think that, frankly, she looks really good in it. I think she also kind of looks like Jessica Lange, frankly. And that just is great because you know, big American Horror Story fan. But, uh, in general, though, it's uh, the fact that Bruce, or uh, Caitlyn Jenner is, you know, has transitioned, and it's, and frankly, the, f the hate that she's getting is, I mean, she's had a lot of great acceptance. She's had a lot of support coming as well. But there has also been an equal amount of hatred, bigotry, and just all out insane, just this insane discrimination from people who just don't seem to understand it. And frankly, I think that these people need to educate themselves a little more, as all, as all of us could, frankly. And I think that they really just need more insight because they really need to quit being so close-minded and open their minds up to, instead of saying, oh, this is unnatural, oh, this is disgusting, it's sick, blah, blah, blah. Actually open your mind up to the artistic nature that was done. Not only the bravery she had to do this, but the people that, um, the, the Vanity Fair people who actually, are, that I find artistically did that. You have to open your mind up to the whole realization. This isn't just about uh, her and uh, and trans rights and uh, pr uh, promotion of trans people and stuff like that. This is also about art. Vanity Fair is a magazine that is that is very artistic. It's very bourgeois, but it's very artistic. And if you can get, at least get past the transphobia enough to at least see that this is a beautiful work of art, then maybe you could open your mind up more to the idea that, you know, that this is actually, you know, that, yeah, this is actually who she is. This is what she wants. This is how she feels comfortable. This is, this is, this is, she now feels comfortable in, in her body the way that she was supposed to be. And so, all this transphobia that's existed with people trying, you know, that were just... And I'll link the Crook and Kite page, by the way. I'll link the direct article, the, not article, but the direct photo linkage and stuff like that. And have you go through the comments and feel free to make some of your own. Quite frankly, I just think that the whole idea surrounding this is I, I really kind of expected more of I don't know why I did I expected more people to be more accepting of this but but at the same time we do have to understand that trans 
the, the trans community and trans rights are l lagging third about 20 to 30 years behind LGB rights and more awareness needs to be brought to this so that their rights can be respected that they can be more accepted that this you know that and that people can be educated and more open-minded to this whole ideal and you know hopefully as more people learn maybe this won't become such an issue anymore but you know right now it's just it's unfathomable unfathomable the absolute just disgusting bigoted bigoted and discriminatory nature that people hold just because someone did something that made them happy did something that made them feel more comfortable did something that actually may, you know makes them you know that that actually makes them feel human and actually did something that was art and and went so far to be brave to put your since you are in the you know whether or not you are in the media eye or not did something that that brought awareness to this and frankly was something that I think was very, very beautifully artistic you know so frankly I just think that it's really I, I think the transphobics really need an eye opener and I think even though people who may not be transphobic can sometimes come off as transphobic and so frankly more awareness needs to be paid a tent, you know more awareness needs to be brought to this and with pride and everything coming up um, this is something that probably should be brought up this summer uh, and over the next year a couple more years to raise to help raise awareness and to open people's minds and to try to bring it into the transphobia and the discrimination I think I think the as much as I don't like to talk about celebrity news and as much as I hate the whole idea of celebrity worship, I believe that in this case, this will definitely that that Jenner does bring a lot a, a lot to the table to try and um, obviously see how far we've come, how far we have to go, and what can be done to you know in order to better tra uh, the trans community to help trans individuals and essentially bring you know that discrimination to an end and bring everybody together in peace harmony and love and acceptance so with all that said i'm norcal nick leader of the revolutionist movement and this has been norcal corner what?